Okay, let's experiment a little bit with physics and uh, let's load a terrain in. You have some options for terrain. I'm going to right now use the height map, large height map terrains, and uh, we'll load the canyon. And uh, this is a very large object. I'm going to hit Control G and turn off that grid. Uh, also, this object has the capability, and it's already been enabled, enable terrain physics. So you don't have to do anything other than make sure that tick mark is checked and this becomes then a, a kinematic object and it's a mesh and we're going to select our structure physics toolbox structure and I'll use the uh, tank B drag it out here. Your simulation is turned on. I'm going to turn off soft body. We really don't need that doesn't hurt I don't think to have it on but let's turn it off I'm gonna reposition a little bit now one thing that'll help the simulation run better is to turn on by frame typically it'll be in real time and the simulation can get a little crazy and a little wonky if that's turned on it should run a little better in by frame to run the simulation and I just let her go and start rendering and playing with the object get the moves that I want, let the simulation run, and you shouldn't have to worry about snapping or following the terrain because when you're running the simulation, the physics simulation, it's going to be uh, following the terrain because the terrain is a kinematic mesh and the dynamic object of the tank is colliding and correctly navigating that particular object. So. Uh, that should get your simulation running uh, and just be sure you're in the by frame mode that will help a lot now when your simulation is done go ahead and go to the beginning turn off the simulation and then obviously in your editing system you'll cut out that first little bit because typically it has to get oriented in those first few frames your dynamic object to the uh, kinematic object and now the simulation will play the same way you did it and so you would run the simulation a number of times till you get what you wanted the movement that you wanted uh, and uh, you'll notice that it is following the terrain now if you choose to use another terrain and let's load in the field here this is a uh, another terrain that comes with Icolon you will need to make this a kinematic object and so you make sure you have selected the wheat field, it's called, and you'll go up and convert to prop. Then you'll be able to bring in the control panel and make this a kinematic and make sure it's a mesh, like so. And then you can turn that off. And uh, you can turn it back into a train if you choose. You don't have to. If you don't want to, I'm going to turn off the grid again. Uh, but you can right click on that object and say add to terrain and now that wheat field has become a train. Just be sure a bounding box is not turned on because the mesh will be negated if you do that. Now we can go back to our physics objects tank and here we are and let's make sure we're in by frame and we've got our simulation turned back on and uh, Let's go back the other way. And there we go. Like so. So uh, running fine. And so that's uh, one way you can use a different terrain. Uh, and then once again, you can turn off your simulation and go back to the beginning. And that's using uh, one of the uh, median mesh terrains instead of the uh, large height map terrains. So it works pretty good. So I hope that helps. <laughs>